Hey guys, welcome back to Sparkman Homestead. My name is Krista. I just got in the house from picking up my Azure order and I thought I would show you guys what I got this month. It is not a big order at all all. Um, like I said in my last Azure order, I'm pretty good for being stocked up and now I'm just kind of doing like the maintenance stuff. Um, I did pick up a couple of things that I need to make the Christmas cookies this month. So there should be some of that in this order. So let's take a look and see what we got. It was in the pouring rain today, so it was not an enjoyable pickup. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what's in here. I got my favorite go-to butter. This is the Mother's Choice Butter. I always order six of them. I ordered these because we are doing a lot of Christmas baking tomorrow. So I want to make sure that I am good and stocked up on these. So we got six of those. Um, again, what I'm going to do is just put the price at the bottom for you guys so that you know how much it is. And then I got my regular Nancy's Sour Cream. Every single month I pick this stuff up. This is our favorite. And again, the expiration date on here, I think this is good until January the 18th. So it's amazing. It won't last until then, but it is, uh, and by not lasting, I just mean we'll eat it before that date. And then this month I ordered the Nancy's 100% uh, grass-fed whole milk yogurt. I make my own yogurt, but I need to kind of kickstart it a little bit, and um, I'm going to use this to start my next batch of yogurt. This one is good until uh, December the 24th, so still, I mean, I won't, I usually go through one of these tubs once every like week and a half, and I make my own, so this is just going to be used as kind of a jump start to make a fresh batch. Um, I have a whole bunch of canned potatoes, but I wanted to get some more russet potatoes for um, Christmas, around Christmas. The kids are going to be home, so we're probably going to be eating a lot more mashed potatoes. And I haven't tried it yet. I, I have not tried to make um, mashed potatoes with my canned potatoes. I have heard it's very easy, so I am going to experiment with it, but in the meantime, I did buy these. Um, also, I wanted to make um, baked potatoes one night, and these russet potatoes are perfect for that. So this is a five pound bag. Then I ordered a pound of lemon grass. So when I was doing my herbal uh, cabinet, when I was kind of organizing it with you guys, I will link the video for that also. Um, I noticed that I did not have any lemongrass and this is supposed to be an amazing tea. So I bought some lemongrass. Um, I got some turmeric, I was running low on that. And this is going to be used as a yellow food coloring. Um, I am making the Christmas cookies and I wanted to experiment and see if this would work for that. I have read that this is a really good, um, a really good thing to use for getting a yellow or an orange color. So we'll give it a try. Plus I just needed to restock my turmeric. I ordered some more of my favorite popcorn. This is called, sorry you guys probably can't hear me. This is called mushroom popcorn and this is a five pound bag. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It pops the biggest kernels and it is so, so delicious. So I have um, a half gallon jar full of it, but I don't want to run out. So I bought another bag of this. Plus. Again, with the kids coming home, we're probably going to be snacking on popcorn a lot. That is the best snack to have when watching movies. So, bought some of that. Uh, also picked up some more small elbow pasta. This is the uh, semolina pasta. And this is, yeah, a five pound bag. So, I was running short on that, so I picked up another bag of that. And then I bought some more A2, A2 powdered milk. Um, I just made another huge batch of my uh, homemade hot cocoa mix, and that pretty much brought me right down low, and I don't want to run out of this stuff, so I am restocking that. 
Now this is a new product and I definitely got sold on the advertising of it because it looks absolutely amazing. It is called Fine Black Lava Sea Salt. That is what it looks like. I have never used this stuff. This is a new product from Azure. Um, it says stunning black sea salt not only looks unique in its charcoal content, gives it an antitoxin property, and it aids in digestion. The coal black color comes from a pure activated coconut shell charcoal, which is bonded to white silver sea salt. Its smoky flavor and appearance add to a beautiful finishing touches to tomatoes, roast, grilled veggies, meats, etc. So I am super, super excited to try this. It's black salt. I'm gonna open it with you guys because I wanna see what it looks like. Let me just go and get a bowl to pour it into. I zoomed you guys in, hopefully I didn't zoom you in too much. Ooh, that is so cool. It just looks like black salt or sand. Look at it. So cool. I can't wait to try it. Okay, let's give this a little try. I'm not gonna put my finger in a whole bunch of it. It's salt for sure. It's definitely a sea salt. I don't normally eat salt like this. Um, I don't really get a smoky flavor from it because it's salt. I'm going to try it on some, um, maybe we'll try it on some meat and see how that tastes. But yeah, super cool. Can't wait. Oh, you know what? Now that the salt, like the main salt thing is gone, I do get a little bit of a smoky flavor to it. That's cool. Yay. Okay, let's see what's in these boxes here. show you so I can actually put this away because I don't want it to um, melt. This is a five pound box of just frozen strawberries. They come in their whole form. These delicious again for oatmeal in the morning. I love having these on hand. So I'm going to actually go and put these quickly in the freezer because I don't want them defrosting anymore. Got the strawberries put away and I also put the butter away and my yogurt. And this is why you need to be careful when opening boxes with scissors. I just sliced this bag wide open. This is a one pound bag of alfalfa leaf. And this is the same thing as with the lemongrass. I am going to use this as a tea. It is supposed to be very, very good for you. So I am going to get this put into my spike or my herbal cabinet. It says here that it has an earthy taste and it is an antioxidant rich tea. It is helpful with symptoms of menstrual discomfort, arthritis, diabetes, and high cholesterol. So I am definitely going to be making quite a bit of teas with this. So looking forward to having that. And this is the last box. Again, I told you guys it wasn't a big order this month. Um, I did have some stuff that didn't ship either. So it was a tad bit bigger, but it was out of stock. But that's fine. I just put them on to next month's order. This one's got a lot of other stuff. So these are uh, whole cloves. I've tried to order these the last couple of months and they've been out of stock. So I'm happy to see that they shipped this month. I am running low on those. This is juniper berries, whole juniper berries. I made a corned beef and I cured it with a pink curing salt. And I did some more research and I found a recipe where you can actually make a corned beef cure with juniper ber berries and it does not require you to use that pink salt. So I might try to do that and I don't have any of these so I want to kind of have these on hand. So adding those to my 
pantry. And then this is just some organic oat milk. My daughter is coming home for the holidays and she actually prefers to drink oat milk. I've tried to convince her to drink the whole cow milk, but um, she definitely prefers the whole milk. So, or the oat milk over the whole milk. So um, I got her a little bit of that so that she can enjoy some gurgle roll while she's here. This month, I also decided that I was going to stock up on some cleaners. Um, I have been using Azure's cleaning products for a while, and I really, really like them. Um, and they actually had them on sale this month. So this is a uh, toilet bowl cleaner. Now, unfortunately, some of the smaller containers didn't ship. Um, so I ended up with some big containers. But I'll just go to the dollar store or Dollar Tree and end up getting um, like a spray bottle to use them in. And this is the small toilet bowl cleaner. So I bought one and then I got a big one. I like to keep, I have a dual level home and I like to keep in the bathrooms just a little cleaning caddy. That way I'm not having to like load my cleaning products up and down the stairs. So upstairs I kind of have everything I need for those bathrooms and then down here I have a little cabinet with my cleaning stuff. So I, I have one of these already upstairs so now I'll be able to put this one in my cabinet downstairs and then this big guy will just be able to refill these with. I really like this product. Like I said I've been using it for about a year and it works great. Um, this one is the bathroom cleaner. Normally I use like a vinegar, vinegar orange mixture, but I decided because they were on sale, I would give this bathroom cleaner a try. I have not used this product. This is the one that I was talking about. I ordered a smaller size like this so that I could just have it as a spray bottle, but they were out of stock. So I'll just have to, like I said, go to the Dollar Tree and get a little spray bottle and that way you can have one upstairs and downstairs. And then this other really cool product that I found is a stainless steel spray. Um, it's a lavender vanilla spray. And I bought it because I was using those highly chemical filled, um, sorry, I just had UPS here dropping something off. So if you hear a knock, it's just UPS. <laughs> um, I was using those wipes, those stainless steel wipes, and they just stunk and I didn't even want to think about what was actually in them. And then I found this product. So we're going to give it a try this month and see what it is like. It says it's a lavender vanilla scent. Ooh, it does smell really good. So I'm excited to try this. It says it will work on uh, stainless steel appliances, steel sinks, and for getting fingerprints off of your refrigerator door. It also says that you can use this on finished leather and wood thick furnishings, but it says just to test it first. Um, so that's pretty cool that it works on leather also. Can't wait to try this. One of my son's Christmas presents just arrived. Okay, this is the last thing we have. It is organic red wine vinegar. I have had this again on my cart for I think the last two months and it was on sale so it quickly got out of stock last month so I'm excited to have this. I use this a lot in my salad dressings. I absolutely love this stuff so happy to have that. So that is just a little haul. I didn't order too much this month. Again, because my pantry is pretty stocked up, I'm not really needing to get it. This is just kind of a, a Christmas getting ready for the holidays type of haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I typically do uh, a Nashville haul once a month. So if you are here just for my shopping hauls, um, I will be doing this once a, once a month. Um, with the exception, I might not be doing one next month because I am going to be participating in a pantry challenge, which prevent doesn't prevent me which means I will not be shopping that month. Um, I will just be using strictly what is in my pantry. So again, I do these once a month and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.